Nigeria is a strange spot. Nigeria. Nigeria? Why I hate Nigeria. Nigeria. You can never trust them 100%. Nigeria is really a bad country. Ghana here. We think we are not safe with them. Nigerians. Nigeria. 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 Why do you hate Nigerians? Yes, I'm asking you. Why do you hate Nigerians? Crime? That is why today I am bringing you this content. Because at the end of this video, you'll be able to know that in as much as our brothers and sisters, that is Nigerians, are committing crimes in this world, they are committing the least of those crimes. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ambassador Vix, and I am back with another awesome video. On this channel, we talk about the positivity about Africa helping to change the negative narrative the world see Africa and the constituent of Africa. Before I start with the main video, just know that I am not perpetrating for crime or advocating for crime, but I'm rather telling you that our brothers, that is Nigerians, are committing the least of those crimes, yet you are not aware about the highest of those crimes committed by the same people pointing fingers at our brother Nigerians. Let us start. I see Nigerians looked at in a different way, kind of stigmatize them because a few other Nigerians are committing those crimes or have committed those crimes. Are you trying to tell me that Ghanaians and other African countries that develop wealth do not commit those crimes? We commit those crimes, but why are we tagging only Nigerians as still they are the people committing the worst of crimes in this world? According to my search, the developed wealth including the US, Canada, UK, and other people commit the highest of those crimes. I'm gonna help you identify those crimes. That is why I've categorized those crimes into three categories. And the first one is the midnight crime, that is the dangerous of all crimes. The second one is the morning crime. The third one is the afternoon crime. And the afternoon crime, unfortunately, our brothers fall into that category. Let us take them one by one. Midnight crime. You are aware, but you have not thought about as though they exist or not. But I'm going to help you identify. Midnight crime are the crimes or is the crime committed by this Western world. They train people professionally to commit those crimes, leaving other economies, especially the African economies, into destitution. Those people are being backed by powerful people or government and they go to different countries to work things out and making sure that they are able to steal resources, leaving those countries impoverished. The perpetrators of this crime are not known unless they identify themselves. It is very difficult for you to trace, track and arrest those people because there are systems built to protect these people. There are no publications about these crimes. That is the midnight crime because you cannot trace, track, and also arrest those people. They are walking free. You don't see them, but they are the worst, most dangerous criminals and intelligent criminals ever existed. Have you heard of economic hitmen? Watch this video. I was an economic hitman. We economic hitmen have created a new global economy, really. A form of capitalism that I call predatory capitalism. And Claudine also told me that if the leaders of these countries refused my offer, people she called jackals would be right behind me. Early morning crimes. Unlike the midnight crimes where the perpetrators of these crimes are trained professionally to work in secrecy with highest form of intelligence, the perpetrators of the early morning crime could also be part of the world's most intelligent people. However, what clearly differentiates the early morning crimes from the midnight crimes are that the early morning crimes could be traced, tracked, but challenging for you to prosecute those criminals. The ability to track these people leaves you know, media publications about them, making you and I know that these criminals or these crimes do exist, unlike the midnight crimes where there are no traces. 
Let me give you a perfect example. The drug lords are the people selling drugs like cocaine fall under the early morning criminals. They fall under these early morning criminals because it is very challenging or difficult for you to trace and track them. Even if you succeed in tracking them, there wouldn't be evidence, which clearly tells you that these types of crimes do exist because there are publications about them, yet there are no evidence to vindicate the perpetrators of these crimes. Example 2. I know you are aware about opium. If not, opium is like a flower or a small tree used by the pharmaceutical industries to produce other medicines. Interesting thing is that the same opium is used by other people to produce heroin, of which you are aware that heroin is an illegal drug in the world. And about 75 to 85 percent of these opiums are grown in Afghanistan, which means that these guys growing acres and acres and acres of these opiums could be traced and tracked. If there's a possibility for them to be traced and tracked, these guys will peddle the lies that in as much as they are growing these opiums, they are growing these opiums hoping to sell them to the pharmaceutical industries to produce drugs. Meanwhile, these guys have had the deals of selling these opiums to other people to turn them into the production of heroin. That means evidence nullified because there are no concrete evidence to show that these people are doing otherwise are said to the police. And really, would you have bad names for these people? Because there wouldn't be any media publications about them that these people are growing these plants to, you know, sell to other people to produce heroin. What you could hear about them is... So if you have a country filled with perpetrators of these crimes, the people in these countries wouldn't all that have bad names as compared to that of Nigerians. You get me? Let us talk about the last category of these crimes, that is the afternoon crimes. Unfortunately, most of our well-known Nigerian brothers who have committed crimes fall under these categories. What are the afternoon crimes? The afternoon crimes are the well-known crimes that are easily traced, tracked, and there are evidences against these perpetrators of these crimes, hence leaving them vindicated. Unlike the early morning and the midnight crimes where the people are highly trained and intelligent in doing things in secrecy and all that, the afternoon crimes are these average guys in the street who have been able to learn a few other skills to our smart people. The example of these crimes are, you know, the internet fraudsters and the romance crimes and all that. Uh, baby, this is the love of your life. The only man who is always to make you happy. We found out that my little scammer is in Lagos, in Nigeria. He's sending the hard earned dollars of poor Americans to Nigerian scammers. Somebody's got to get a hold of this guy. Two Nigerian men were charged in a Singapore court today for suspected involvement in transnational internet love scams with victims in Singapore. The way these Nigerian scammers send their fake checks is by recruiting unemployed Americans. These scams seem to originate from Nigeria. 80 people in all were named in the, were named in the indictment, but most of those are overseas in Nigeria. The ultimate Nigerian scam. We are aware about these crimes because there are publications about these crimes that, you know, these crimes exist. Hence, we label those people as if they are the only criminals or they've committed the worst criminal cases in this world. Meanwhile, I'd like to remind you that the midnight crimes are the crimes that these people commit to leave other economists into destitute or in extreme poverty. So you being able to understand these type of crimes, that is the early morning crime, the midnight crime, and the afternoon crimes, why continue labeling Nigerians as if they are the only criminals in this world? Are they the only criminals? All these people that fall under these categories of crimes are all criminals. So why label Nigerians as if they are the only criminals in this world? Why do we continue hating Nigerians to affect the whole Africans? So, I'm trying to tell you that we should stop hating them because 
they commit a certain category of crimes that are well known to the public. Instead of hating them, why don't we hate their attitude or character? Meanwhile, the perpetrators of the worst crimes are walking away freely. And to all Nigerians watching me right now, Africans do not hate you. The world does not hate you. You have lovers here, you have lovers out there. Watch this clip about people saying positive stuff about Nigerians. What comes to your mind when you're in Nigeria? Uh, happy, dancey people, bright colours, the outfits. I have a friend who's Nigerian and she's got a very strong personality. Aww. She's a strong, confident woman. Um, and she comes to my mind when I think of Nigeria. This clearly shows that we like you. We do not hate you, but we hate your attitude. I believe you get me right. I know Ghana is infiltrated with Nigerians. I have a neighbor here in my apartment who is a Nigerian. I talk to him 247. We have conversations and all that. We don't hate Nigerians. Ghanaians do not hate Nigerians, nor Rwandis and all that. We do not hate Nigerians. But we hate some of you, your attitude of always scamming people and making it look as if that all African people are scammers. We do not encourage that behavior. Scam. Guys, let me know what you think about this video. Subscribe to the channel for more. My name is Ambassador Vix. See you next time. Sukoto, Mayande.